Question 14c. A video game designer wants to include an obstacle in the game they are developing. The player will reach one side of a pit and must shoot a projectile to hit a target on the other side of the pit in order to be able to cross. However, the instant the player shoots, the target begins to move away from the player at a constant speed that is half the initial speed of the projectile shot by the player, as shown in the diagram below. The initial distance between the player and the target is d. The initial speed of the projectile is 2u, and it is launched at an angle of theta to the horizontal. The acceleration due to gravity is g. The launch angle is the only parameter that the player can change. Taking the position of the player when the projectile is launched as the origin, the positions of the projectile and target at time t after the projectile is launched are as follows. Vector rp has horizontal component 2ut cos theta and vertical component 2ut sine theta minus g over 2 times t squared, which is for the projectile. And vector rt has horizontal component d plus ut and vertical component 0 for the target. Do not prove these. Show that, for the player to have a chance of hitting the target, d must be less than 37% of the maximum possible range of the projectile, to two significant figures. For the projectile to hit the target, the horizontal components of vectors rp and rt must be equal at some time t, where t is greater than 0, and the vertical component of rp must also equal 0. We can express this with two equations. In the first equation, I've equated the horizontal components of the two vectors. So we have 2ut cos theta equals d plus ut. And in the second equation, I've let the vertical component of rp equal 0. So 2ut sine theta minus g over 2 times t squared equals 0. The next step is to solve equations 1 and 2 simultaneously for d by eliminating the parameter t. So from equation 1, we get d is equal to 2ut cos theta minus ut, so that's making d the subject, and factorising out ut, we get d equals ut outside of 2 cos theta minus 1. We'll call that equation number 3. From equation number 2, we have 2ut sine theta is equal to g over 2 times t squared, dividing both sides by t, since t must be greater than 0, we get 2u sine theta is equal to g over 2 times t. And then making t the subject, we get t is equal to 4u over g times sine theta. And we'll call that equation number 4. So what we're going to do next is we're going to substitute for t in equation number 3. So from equation number 3, d is equal to u times 4u over g sine theta, which represents t, times 2 cos theta minus 1. And simplifying this expression, we get d is equal to 4u squared over g times sine theta times 2 cos theta minus 1 in brackets. The maximum range of the projectile occurs when the vertical component of vector rp equals 0 and theta is equal to pi over 4. The time at which this happens is found by solving for t the equation 2ut sine pi over 4 equals g over 2 times t squared. Now sine pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. So we get 2u times root 2 over 2 equals g over 2 times t. And solving for t, we get t max is equal to 2u root 2 over g. Now the maximum range is equal to 2u times 2u root 2 over g times cos of pi over 4, which equals 2u times 2u root 2 over g times root 2 over 2, which simplifies to 4u squared over g. Therefore, the maximum range of the projectile is 4u squared over g. Recall that d equals 4u squared over g times sine theta times 2 cos theta minus 1 in brackets. I'm going to find the maximum value of sine theta times 2 cos theta minus 1 in brackets for values of theta greater than 0 and less than pi over 2. So I'm going to create a function, I'm going to let y equal sine theta times 2 cos theta minus 1. Ultimately, this will be differentiated, but to make the differentiation a little easier, we need to expand the brackets first. So we have y is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta minus sine theta, and then express 
2 sine theta cos theta in terms of a double angle. So y is equal to sine 2 theta minus sine theta. Now we can differentiate this function with respect to theta. So y dash is equal to 2 cos 2 theta minus cos theta. And cos 2 theta can be expressed in terms of cos theta. So y dash is equal to 2 times 2 cos squared theta minus 1 in brackets minus cos theta which equals 4 cos squared theta minus cos theta minus 2 when the brackets are expanded. Next we're going to solve for cos theta the equation y dash equals 0. So we have a reducible quadratic equation here so we have 4 cos squared theta minus cos theta minus 2 equals 0. I'm going to treat cos theta as the unknown. So cos theta is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 33 over 8 using the quadratic formula. So cos theta is approximately equal to negative 0 0.59 or 0 0.84. And taking the inverse cosine of both sides, we get theta is approximately equal to 2.20566319829 or 0 0.567829372929. Now this value here, 2.20566319829, is greater than pi over 2, hence it is invalid. Test the other value of theta by using a table of first derivatives and checking the value of the first derivative on either side of the stationary point at 0 0.567829372929. I've chosen values of theta 0 and 0 0.8, and when theta is equal to 0, y dash is equal to 1, which is a positive gradient, and when theta is equal to 0 0.8, y dash is equal to negative 2.8, which is a negative gradient. Hence, the value of theta of 0 0.567829372729 represents a maximum value. So the value of sine theta times 2 cos theta minus 1, when that value of theta is substituted in, is approximately equal to 0 0.3690 and so on. Since 4u squared over g represents the maximum range, then d must be less than or equal to the maximum range times 0 0.369 and so on in order for the player to hit the target. Therefore, d must be less than 37% of the maximum range corrected to significant figures.